Greetings. Well, I've been at hanging around the garden and the orchard for a good part of my life now. And uh, one conclusion that I have drawn from year to year, nothing is ever the same. Uh -uh. Anybody who thinks that weather and farming and crops and gardening are a consistent undertaking, um, you haven't been around it long enough yet. I have never seen two growing seasons, um, two years back to back, where everything acted just about the same as it did the previous year. So there's always something different going on. Last year was very unusual, though, by m most of my previous standards. Um, uh, we had uh, Hurricane Lane came through here, and that dropped more rain than anybody would ever seen. Uh, we had uh, a volcanic eruption last year uh, that filled the air with sulfur dioxide and who knows what else uh, was the byproduct of that. We had several acid rains and so on because of it. <clears throat> Uh, then we had a 6.9 earthquake, which I lived in California for over 25 years, and I never felt one quite like that. I'm not saying they haven't had a better one in California, but I never personally sat through one. The earth rolled like surf. It was amazing. And so consequently, last year, plants did not act normal, and it's not just my observation either, because... The one question I keep getting back from everybody around here is, what happened to the lily koi? How come there's no passion fruit? Uh, I had the same problem. Now, I saw flowers on the vines. There were quite a few. And so my guess is it had something to do with the pollinators. And that maybe either the hurricanes, the rainfall, or maybe the sulfur dioxide in the air from the eruptions, I don't know. Something affected the pollinators. And uh, so we did not get good pollination on a lot of plants. On the other hand, there were a whole lot of plants that ordinarily would flower, just didn't bloom, or if they did bloom, they didn't bloom right. Uh, now, all of a sudden, though, we've turned the corner and it's 2019 here, and now I'm starting to see reactions that are heading in the absolute opposite other direction. Um, I have moral blood orange down the hill over here that, oh, it's grown fine for years, but it's hardly ever bloomed much. Now, all of a sudden, boom, it's starting to open up with a really good flowering. There's a whole lot of factors, you know. One of the things I think on citrus that made the difference this year is we actually set cold temperature records here on the island, uh, 10 degrees on top Mauna Kea here last week. Uh, down here at my house, 48 degrees. It got cold. And I think what happened is with that little bit of chilling, it kind of set off a lot of the citrus trees because immediately after when it warmed up now, the plants are all flowering. Check out the Valencia here behind me has the best bloom in this tree that I have ever seen. Now, I've seen better flowerings on citrus at times in the past. So this is not the most incredible flowering I've ever run across, but here in Hawaii, I would say that I have never seen flowers on this orange tree like I'm getting this year. Mineola tangelo, same situation. Great flowers on this plant, and I'm so happy because I love my mineolas. Uh, soursop has bloomed here in the past, prolifically actually, but it's never really set very much fruit. Now all of a sudden this year, the flowers are all turning into fruit. There's uh, quite a bit I've been trying to count, and they're hard to see because they're green. But there's a lot of fruit up here. Probably at least a good 30 or so of them set at this point. And then, of course, there are more flower buds up there, big, weird, goofy-looking things this tree makes. The lime has erupted into all sorts of flowers here. we got bloom coming all over it. I seldom have any trouble with lime flowering, though. The bloom on Jabuticaba 
That's also very, very heavy. Look at all the flower buds. Oh, there's some fruit up here too. It bloomed lightly a little bit earlier in the year. Made a fair load of fruit. I'm trying to stay ahead of it from the birds here. See right there, nice load. Black and green fruit. And little flower buds forming. Red fruits. One of the most amazing situations is the Moro Blood Orange. Moro Blood Orange hasn't done much of anything around here for years. I mean, it's grown really well, but it hardly ever blooms. Well, this year, look at it. See right here, right there. More flowers here. And Jubilee Blueberry has been doing really, really well, too. Nice flowering on this one. Lots of fruit set in there. Now we just keep the birdies away from it. We're going to have a whole lot of blueberries. Well, not terribly exciting, but even the orange dragon fruit actually flowered this year. It's not quite ripe. And I haven't made any headway on figuring out exactly what the heck this thing is, but... Whatever it is, it's true to seed because it looks just like the fruit that I got the seed out of. And so, pretty soon, not today, but pretty soon, I will have some seeds for this thing. And it looks like we have a few more buds coming here. So, there is hope for the future. So there you have it. Strange weather, record rainfall, hurricanes, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. And even the koa trees in the National Park didn't fruit properly last year. We'll see what happens this year. I could use some koa seed. So, there's no way to tell. I can't predict what may come, nor can we tell what caused some of this stuff, really. It's... A lot of ideas about it, though. I've heard all sorts of things. People are blaming it on the volcanic eruptions. It could be. I don't know. Aloha. Hang loose.